Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make this origami fish that I just designed. And uh, yeah, and it's three dimensional. And uh, yeah, and what's really cool about it is that you can make it <laughs> slim just like that. Alright, want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Alright, so for this fish, I use a 16 square of this this origami paper right here that's um, <laughs> chiogami on one color. And I use the orange side as the color of the fish, and that's what I'm gonna use in this tutorial. And don't worry, we're just gonna we're just gonna be focusing on the the orange side. All right. So for an orange fish, let's begin white side up, and let's fold in half. I'm gonna pretend like this is a so I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna pretend like this is the white side. All right. And I'm folding the foam head this way. This model's simple, but the last um, collapse is kind of tricky. All right, now fold um, this point to here. We're making a square base. And turn over and fold this point to here. Alright, now open the pocket here and bring the sides together like that. Alright? And here we have the square base. Alright, so now fold this point to right here. Make a pinch mark just like that. Unfold and now rotate. And now take these two points and fold them to here. Alright? And repeat on this side. And turn over and repeat on this side. So take this point and fold it to here. And just make a pinch mark like that. And fold these two points to the middle. The intersection of the pinch mark and the crease. See? Just like that. Alright, so. Um, now, um, here's the side with all the, the flaps right here. Just remember that. And here's this side right here. With, yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to make a fold right along this um, this edge right here. Remember, this is a side with no flap or anything. See? So, um, we're going to um, take all this and we're going to fold this up right over that edge. Or take this point and fold it to here. Doesn't matter. But we're just going to fold on the left side, so just from here, from here, to here, alright? Just like that. And now rotate and do the same thing on this side. So fold this up right over this edge. Or take, yeah, take this point and fold it here, doesn't matter. And just fold on the right side, so just from here to here. Alright, like that. And now I'll turn over and let's reverse those creases and do the same thing. So. Remember, here's the side with all the edges. I mean, all the side, the flaps right here, and here's the side with like right here and stuff. All right. So let's reverse those creases we just made. So I'm just gonna make sure that they're generalists. So it makes it easier to do the last part, the collapse. And you can just reverse those creases a couple times. Alright, like that. Just like that. And now comes the collapse. So, um, we're gonna put our finger inside here. Just like that. So, open it up like that. And now just bring these two points together. Like that. And look, it's starting to look like a fish. Alright. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch right here. So, here and here using your thumb to pinch right here, to push right here, and your index finger to push here, so both of them at the same time, just like that. Alright, and now we're going to make a fold connecting these two points. Alright, so fold, so fold this down, make this point come to here, and then now on this side you can make a, you can mountain fold in between these two points. Alright, 
just like that. All right, now unfold that. Now we're gonna reverse the crease. It's not gonna be sharp, but that's okay. All right. So take this point, fold it to here. I'm doing the same thing on this side. Um, fold. There, just like that. All right, so that's the best that I can do it. All right, and here we have the fish. But I think, see how um, it, you, you might like it like this, but see how um, it's kind of open right here, in here, those edges. I think they stayed down more when you do this step. It, it's still gonna be kind of open a little bit, but it's better than how it is right now. All right. So to do that, and what I like about this step is that um, see how it's like raw edges right here, which doesn't really look as clean. I think it looks cleaner when, it, when it's folded edges. All right. I'm gonna show you to do that. So, um, we're gonna do we're gonna fold this in. We're gonna fold this in about like that. It's to taste. Just fold it just a little bit. All right. See, that stays good a little bit more down. And repeat on this side. Alright, and now you can just get rid of this excess sticking out right here. You can do whatever you want with that. Maybe you can leave it like that if you want, but now I'm going to get rid of it. But yeah, just get rid of it however you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Just like that. So yeah, it's better than how it was before. And uh, yeah, and there it is. Now to make it slim, you just, you just wiggle the head and the tail like this at the same time. See? I'm gonna do it with a slightly bigger one. This is from 7 inch Kami here. See? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like a blue fish, and this is like a gold fish right here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. <laughs> just like that. Maybe you can take this portal. Wheatley, designed by Jeremy Schaefer. See if I can put it inside. No, it's way too big. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Hope you guys were able to fold that and comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. All right. Bye bye.